chemotherapy, especially the types with toxins such as Taxotere may cause your nails to become dry, brittle and fragile. They may also discolor or develop grooves or ridges, and at worst they may fall off. Chemotherapy also affects your nails and, the symptoms are usually felt in the fingers, hands, toes and feet. It can be a shooting or stabbing pain, tingling or numbness, or increased sensitivity to heat or cold or touch. Hyperpigmentation often appears two to three weeks after chemotherapy treatment begins and goes away as new skin cells replace the dead cells at approximately 10 to 12 weeks after treatment is over. However, this darkening may occasionally be permanent. Your nails may take on a bruised appearance, turning various shades of black, brown, purple, blue, and green. Blemishes such as horizontal and vertical lines and small indentations may develop on your nails in response to different cycles of chemotherapy. Chemotherapy can disrupt the growth cycles of new cells in your body. The keratin-rich cells that make up your skin and nails can be especially affected by this. Once your treatment is done, it can take about 6 to 12 months for your fingernails to grow back out to normal. Toenails can take longer sometimes up to a year. In some cases, nails never return to how they were before chemo. Avoid harsh chemicals. Nail polish will cause your nails to dry up even faster. These chemicals can be harsh on the nails and can cause further damage during chemotherapy. Restore nails by using cold packs. Placing cold packs on the nails before and after treatment may help protect them. Applying creams. Applying hand and foot creams may help with moisturizing and nail strengthening. Using cuticle cream. A person can use a cuticle cream or oil to prevent dryness and splitting. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more videos. Thank you for watching.